Darling, you send me. I know you send me. Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I'm Evelyn. So today I'm gonna show you guys some of my most wear lipstick throughout this fall because it's around it's like the end of november now so fall's almost over so i have collect some of my most used lipstick and i wanted to show it to you guys for this video it will all be most high-end or like more expensive lipstick for the next video i'll also show you guys some of my drugstore lipstick that i use the most though yeah and if you guys are interested in this please keep on watching so first color i'm gonna show you guys the color that i have on my lips right now this one um it's actually two colors combined together it is the two of the mac lipstick that i combined them together it is called is the matte shy girl and taupe and shy girl is the cream sheen one cream sheen lipstick and top is the matte lipstick let me show you guys the color on my back of my hand so let me show you guys shy girl first yo shy girl is so busted could have been using the color a lot okay so here is shy girl it's this very peachy nudie color that I usually like to use as a base and taupe it's also this very nude brown with a little red in there so I really like to put them together when so what I usually do is I will put a layer of shy girl down like this I will layer another layer of taupe in like a gradient lip so like my inner part of the lips will be applied with taupe and I'll just like put them together and this is the color that you get like that so I really like them together they work really well shy girl especially if you have some color that's a little bit too dark for your liking you can totally just mix in with shy girl and I think it will works as a very nice base for your darker color lipstick so this two color that I really like and next is the is my recent i have a recent video on the shu uemura collection with one piece and in there there is this color called kung fu punch that i found myself using this color quite a lot so this is kung fu punch it's this very like like how to say light and bright orange color orange almost like a like the mandarin orange color but with a little bit of a brown in there um the brown acts like a very nice like toned down color so during the winter time you can put this and it will be really nice it'll like make you look but not too much yep and let me show you guys the color on my lips Darling. So this is the color Kung Fu Punch. So the lipstick's texture is almost like a lipstick, uh, it's almost like a lip balm, so it's very comfortable. Very nice for people who have more of a drier lip type. And I think those this color this lipstick will be really comfortable for those people. And also for the fall fall time, because it gets dry during fall time and it will be nice to have a nice and moisturized lips. This is the color Kung Fu Punch. It's very glossy and I really like glossy lipstick, so I like that. So next color is the Dior 436 Ultra Trouble. This is Ultra Trouble. Looks like this. I feel like this color is this very classic fall color, like a what is that called maple color a very nice nice and warm maple color so this is the color ultra trouble 
yeah i really like this color this probably i really i really like to wear this color with like coats so if you have like darker color coats and you have this very kind of like brownish maple color it looks super nice together and this is the color ultra trouble i apply a little bit less not like a full lips because this is how i usually like the color to be look on my lips and like i said this very classic maple shade that you can probably find in a lot of lipstick but yeah i really like it it's kind of like a staple like a must for like girls who likes more of a brownish tone fall color so yeah it's a very very pretty orangey color that it's great for fall and even winter i think yeah And next, um, it's a color that is not so orangey. It's more of a pink side. This is the Makeup Forever 202 Delirious Pink. This color, it's like a really beautiful dry rose with berry characteristic kind of. It's this color. And you can tell that it's a little bit toned down than just full on berry shade, but it also has the characteristic of being a berry shade color and this is like the design of the packaging it has a little clicky thing in the back so once you click it it push a little bit of the lipstick off and on and you cannot push it back so if you want to buy this make sure you don't click it too much So yeah, when you apply it thinly, it looks like this, this very windrow kind of pink that I really like to use during fall time. But yeah, that's the color. And all of the lipstick that I've been talking about, they're all, uh, other than taupe and this ultra trouble, they're all more of a, sorry my dog is being crazy again. Hey, 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 hey. They're all more of a moisturizing lipstick, so... I personally really like to use very moisturizing lipstick during fall time because I have really dry lips. So yeah, very pretty. And the last two color that I want to talk about, they're all like they're they're from the same line, which is the. Dior Lip Tattoo, Dior Attic Lip Tattoo Long Wear Color Tint is this two color. One is 421 and one is 541. Um, I will say these two colors are the two most wear lip tint lipstick that for me during the fall time because they are super easy to apply. They are also not so pigmented and very suitable for just very light makeup even if you have just have a brow i think it will be a very nice color to wear it with especially the 421 it's called natural beige so let me show you guys the color this is 421 and this color is 541. I think they are both pretty kind of similar, but the 451 is called Natural Sienna. It has more of a red tone in there, more of a brown red tone in there, but the beige one is more just brown, like beige, lighter beige with a little bit of like with a little bit of orange so yeah let me show you guys these two colors on my lips they last quite a long time on our lips so we don't have to worry about them coming off really easily like for example the shoe wimura one that one is very easy they come off really easily so if you are someone who doesn't really like to bring 
your lipstick with you, these two tints will be really nice. So let me show you guys the beige one first. So this is the beige one. As you can see, it's very natural looking. So it will goes really well with any makeup look you have. As long as they're like neutral colors. And yeah. And it is it is more of a beige brown shade, less of an orangey shade. So for people who doesn't really like orangey tones, I think this color would be really nice for you. This is that. And let me show you the Sienna one. And I mean, I've been trying a lot of lipstick on but you can still see it has like a tint on your lips so it doesn't really come off which is a nice thing i think it's a nice thing and this is 541 natural sienna like i said it's more of a it has a harder punch of the red and the brown in there but it's still very beautiful and i really like to wear this like the dior lipstick one they're really nice to wear with like fall coats and it's just a very nice and warm color to bring to wear on your lips um these two color they're because they're tint so when you have when you first apply this lip tint it feels really nice on your lips but the as the day goes on your lips does feels my lips does feels a little bit dry so if you uh, want to purchase this and you want to use these two lip tint i recommend you to bring like a lip balm with you so that you can keep your lip moisturized during the day but i still really like the color so i'll let that little dry lips part pass <laughs> so yeah that is all for today's video um these are the most wear lipstick that i have that are high-end and if you guys like this video or like me, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to see more video from me, please click the little bell button next to my name. Um, I right now try to post every Friday or Saturday. I'm not really sure about the dates yet. I'm sorry. But I'm like still trying out um, the dates that I'm supposed to post. But yeah, if you thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!